I've never met an ice cream scientist before. There's not many of us. <laughs> Jeff's team used science, not sorcery, to keep the ice cream soft, not rock solid. So at sub-zero temperatures, they can make it swoop, swirl, and stand up. My mix is about to be frozen inside this stainless steel barrel. As the ice cream mix hits that cold barrel, it freezes. Right. And then a knife scrapes the ice cream off the inside of that barrel and mixes it back into the ice cream mix. So at that point, we're starting to create very small ice crystals. The constant scraping stops the crystals growing too big. Big ice crystals would make the ice cream crunchy, not creamy. And what else do you put in? It's not just ice, is it? At the same time, we're introducing air. Air? Yes. Ah, is air the secret ingredient in soft ice cream? Let's hear it again. Air. Air. Yeah. And air gives the ice cream that unique, light, fluffy texture. And that's the secret of making creamy ice cream. You need small ice crystals and small air bubbles. And that allows you to get the ice cream out of the freezer and eat it straight away, nice and smooth. Exactly. But I've only defrosted one of the clues to soft ice cream. Here comes the real secret. The exact recipe of air, ice crystals, sugars and fats in this mix means it never actually freezes, even at minus 20. Jeff says that's why it really stays soft. Effectively, the sugars act as an antifreeze and stop the water from freezing. So is that the same sort of thing as when you put um, grit or salt on the roads? Absolutely, that's exactly the same principle. The ice cream spurting from these machines is a frosty minus six, yet still so soft, it can form these fantastical shapes. It's the fine tuning of all three elements, the ice crystals, the air bubbles, and the sugar solution that make it all possible. And that's why I couldn't make ice cream like this in the barn. 